Hi, my name is Bruce Dodge with Freeland Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how to log into our system and access your studies that have been sent through Access Point Go. You will be provided your username and password and the website in which to go to, which is apc.freelandsystems.net. To log in, you just put in your credentials and hit log in, and it'll take you to your patient list. So these will be the studies that have been sent to us through Access Point Go. You can search through any of the criteria on top, including patient name, study information, including location, and study date. So we can have the last number of days, which for my demo database, I have large, but I'd recommend having yours within seven to 21 days. Or you can also do a study date range to find a specific uh, date range of studies. You can also have it sort just by your reading physician name or who was referring physician or the technologist that performed the study. On the other status, you can have the unread studies show up so you can just see what needs to be read, or you can show all the studies that have been read. Stat status will show any study that has been marked as stat, and you can mark a study as stat by just clicking on the uh, checkbox, and you can see it'll highlight it at that point. To turn it off, you just press it again. Once you hit search, it'll keep that criteria in until the next time you perform the search. On your patient directory, <clears throat> status will just show when it's green, it means it's ready to be read, which is usually available within a couple minutes of being sent up from Access Point Go. To sort any of the fields, you can just click on the field name and it'll sort in chronological order, alphabetical order, or numer numerical order, depending on the field you're in. You can mark a study as read from the dropdown. And you can also assign a reading position on who's going to read it from the dropdown. To open a study, you left click on it and hit open study. That will load your images and your thumbnails right into the viewer. The first image that pops up will be on the left hand side and that'll be your main image. And you can go through the images by either clicking on the uh, thumbnails on the right hand side using the scroll wheel on the mouse. You can use the page up, page down keys on the keyboard, or you can use the arrow keys on this side. You can go to a four up display by clicking the black button on the left, and it'll show four consecutive images in a row. You can adjust the size if you wanna make the main images larger by moving the center bar. Press it again, it'll go to your standard display. You can pause and go forward and backwards, frame by frame. And hitting the center button again will take you back to standard rate of play. You can increase or decrease the rate of play by clicking these buttons. And the center button will take you back. I showed you previously, you can adjust that zoom by moving the center bar, or you can hit the zoom button and use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in. Press it again, it'll take you out of zoom mode. Heads up display will show you the frame you're on when you're on a moving image. So you can see I'm on frame 16 of 124. And turning that off, we'll turn that off. So when I start the play again, you can adjust the brightness and contrast by clicking on this window here, and you can adjust it to what your liking is. Reset will always take it back to your standard default. You also have the ability to take measurements by pausing the image, clicking measurement, then you can take a length value by just pointing and clicking, and it'll provide you the measurement for that that you just took. We have other measurements available, as you can see here, and it'll be calibrated automatically from your ultrasound system as they get sent across to us. To get out of the image, you just click this X button or go back to search to get to your patient directory. If you have any questions, please be in touch.